What's up, everybody? It's your girl Erica from the Classy Clown Blog. And many of you, as you know, I watched the Fry Festival documentary on um, Netflix. Now, I know there's one on Hulu, but I watched the one on Netflix, so I hope that gives you a chance to kind of catch up. Long story short, why am I, why am I doing this video? I'm going to make it. It's going to be a hitter today. But if you don't know who I am, I'm a Klein blog, six-figure, that's right, six-figure YouTuber, author of Smartphone Millionaire book, How to Invest in People, Real Estate, and Businesses from the Palm of Your Hand. And many you say, but girl, how are you a six-figure YouTuber, but you're filming from your car? And my friend has all these lights and cameras and pretty makeup and she's not making six figures. Maybe because there's a thing called talent and execution. Okay, so look, the Fry Festival was on a island. A young man, McFarlane, and this is the testament to some of y'all really need to step out on faith. Some of y'all really need to get, get your courage up. This young man said, we're going to throw on a festival. And he started making waves he started hiring people getting staff on board getting people working remotely keyword people working remotely people doing all kind of things uh start getting big name people and then last minute i mean millions of dollars came in but at the last minute it fell through because of what wire fraud lying all kind of stuff you got to go watch it for yourself but who got hurt the smaller guy got hurt the small cooks small day workers those people got hurt for sure now, I'm not saying the rich kids didn't get hurt. They did get hurt. And some of them, of course, did what they wanted to do with Sue. And the saddest part is when I watched the video, there was a bald-headed guy. He was young, but bald-headed, like lost his hair young. And he out there, you'll be hearing from my lawyer. And he was, of course, from North Carolina. I'm from North Carolina. And I just looked at him and I felt sorry for him. Because it was almost like, what were you chasing? You were chasing this amazing party. <sighs> Fear of missing out. It's a scary thing. So look. Put a like in the comments as you come in. Hit the like button and drop your city and state. I just left the post office dropping about 100 letters. Woo! So tired of that. Anyway, but I just had to do this because the Fry Festival is a prime example of so many of y'all are talented. You got skill. You got years of experience, but you don't have what? Courage. You ever see the show Courage, the Cowardly Dog? A lot of you don't have any courage, so you won't step out and do what you have talent to do. You won't step out and start that business. You won't step out and put hours and hours into the business because if you put your hopes up, it'll fail, right? And someone the other day kind of was getting smart with me and saying, well, you're just a YouTuber. You're just a YouTuber. Like they're disregarding the complete fact of my life that I went zero to 500,000 and they have not. See, see uh, I was somewhere the other day and this is in person. And somebody said, oh, what are you like, coach? And they did it with a mocking laugh. I said, well, you know, pff, YouTube's been making me. Now, I ain't going to say the exact number, but I basically said a big ass number to make the eyeballs pop. <gasps> how, how do you make that? How do you make that? Oh, now you want to put some respect on the name. Now you want to act right. Hmm. Interesting. Everybody drop a one in the comments. Make sure y'all can hear me because I don't see anything. I don't see anything popping up. Let me see. Everybody put a one in the comments. Let me see if you guys are in here. I don't see anything popping up. Might be the internet. We'll see. Okay, I'm starting to see some ones. I'm starting to see some ones. It's working. It's working. All right. So I'm parked. For those who want to know, I'm parked. I'm not driving yet. But I had to get this through. I had to talk about this. Because that far McFarlane kid, if he had his head on right, if he had his head on right, he could have done amazing things. Amazing, positive, real business things. This woman cannot drive or park. This is sad. Sad parking. Anyway, and the problem is people out here trying to get Instagram famous. They out here trying to go, wow. And listen, sound, safe, boring businesses work. Sound, safe, boring businesses work. Painting, fencing, uh, wire. So she cannot drive. I'm watching her, y'all. Hold on. These people. You know what I'm saying? These people. And the reason I'm talking about this is because so many times we see people with millions of subscribers, millions of numbers, but how many of those people are dropping dollars? There, a lot of them are not. A lot of them aren't buying anything. You see right now, even in fitness YouTube world, the only YouTubers that are really super successful are ones who have uh, supplements and proteins and warehouses. Products and services are what make the difference. Now the Fry Festival, why am I on this kid? This kid is talented. 
This kid is talented. Let's not pretend like this kid is not talented. This kid has a knack for talking to people. He has a knack for sales. And th that the energy that he gives off is the reason so many people went for it. Let's really give it a buck. He had this energy and this persona. And guess what? All the staff was going into it. Everybody was into that what? That energy. And y'all y'all don't believe me when I talk about some of y'all walking around with funky energy. The momentum came out of the staff believing that he could do it. He could make it happen. He's raising millions of dollars. Now all they got to do is pull it off. Now here's where the rubber hits the road. Some of those people are way smart. Way smart now. Let's give them credit where credit's due. They're smart, smart workers. But see, they weren't smart enough to figure out. And when they did, they were like, oh, this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. And common sense would have said, instead of, you know what I mean? Like, if he was, if this is where he, this is the difference between a scammer and a legit business person. A legit business person would have said, you know what? You're right, smarter person that puts together details. Let me go back and figure out where we can do this festival because it ain't gonna happen on this beach this is the difference between a scammer and a smart business person let me make this very clear ja Ru to me is nobody and i know everybody all the black people are are going a ham on ja Ru, but to me ja Ru is just a face he doesn't have anything to do with that fire festival only thing he really had to do was that photo shoot but if you really look at it that guy had nothing nothing to do with it he just was a face. He was just a musician sitting up on stage feeling important. Okay? So so that's my take on Ja Rule on that whole Fry Festival. And I know people are going to say, um, well, Erica, you could do better. You could. He could have did this, he could do that. Listen, listen to me. It's your, it's your part as a musician, if you're famous, to do due diligence on what you think is legit or not legit. He should have agents and managers and all these people behind him saying, hey, dude, that's not legit. Don't do that. Now... Again, this is that over uh, uh, you know, you should under promise and over deliver. When I started raising money for the investment stuff and the trucking and the housing, I've always tried to under promise like it's going to make maybe four grand, five grand and over deliver. Same thing with credit repair, under promise, over deliver. OK, so again, somebody was getting smart with me and I had to correct them. Some people scam good. Yeah, they do. I mean, but that's the difference. The difference in him and a businessman, this is the sad part. If you watch American Greed, most of the people are doing 98% right. 98% right. They got the faith. They got the energy. They got the know-how. They're doing all the steps right. But that 2%, baby, that 2% kills it. That 2% in them that's a damn scam kills it every time. If you go look at American Greed over and over and over, that person came from a place where oh we only make it a hundred thousand or we only make it two hundred thousand nah man i want to make five hundred thousand and then they start doing scammy shit and that's the problem really <coughs> excuse me and the problem here is the energy and the momentum can get you carried away the fear of missing out can get you carried away now I've been watching several people's YouTube channels and I'm going to say this and I mean it and they can come for me and I'm not scared. If you're in your 50s and you're still crying about what happened to you when you were 18 years old, you need mental health counseling. Listen to me and I'm not afraid. They can come for me. I'm not afraid. If you are in your 40s and 50s and you are still upset about a small event. I'm not talking about if your leg got cut off, your toe got cut off, your arm got cut off, you, you, somebody stabbed your mama, somebody beat your brother up. No, I'm not talking about those. Those are big events. I'm talking about little events. If you are upset about a little event when you were 18 years old and you are almost 50 years old now, you need to go get mental health counseling. I, and I mean this. And I think, you know, a lot of people on YouTube can let you vent a little bit, but some of y'all need some help. For real. Like, I'm, I'm about to call somebody for you because you need some help okay now why am i saying this because the last five to ten years of your life can be amazing the last five to ten years of your life changes everything and people will say well erica you know i got these kids i got this stuff i got this debt i got student loan debt i got this going on listen to me listen to me that what you do the next five to ten years changes your life you may be 35 you may be 45 you may be 50 and you may made some bad choices 
But if you dedicate the next five to 10 years, you can have a different life. See, what a lot of people want to do, a lot of people, what they want to do, I don't even know who C Boogie is. A lot of people, what they want to do is not change their life, but get completely different results. You, and and they, you read this all the time. Health journals will say um, the person who gets that first heart attack, they usually 90% of them don't get a second one because that first one scares them so bad. They start changing their diet, their exercise, their everything. Trust and believe. Hey, that second surgery I had here in Austin, I was like, oh my God, I got a chef. I got a personal trainer. I'm changing everything. Okay. Because you, you can have money, but if you ain't got no health, what does it matter? And there's a lot of older women in Austin up here walking around with plastic surgery and the insides haven't changed. If you get what I'm saying, you're still that same person with the bad attitude, funky attitude. Now you just got perky titties and a real pulled back face. You dig? So, so perky titties and same stinking attitude is not going to change your life either. So let me make that clear on both sides. Okay? People think money can buy happiness. It doesn't. Growth buys happiness. And I'm going to keep saying this. People think I'm being a jerk about it. But growth buys happiness. The, the most saddest people you'll ever meet in your life is somebody like, Well, I'm still over here. Just trying to make it. Just trying to live my life. That, that is ridiculous. Now, I don't want you to ever think, Erica, what about all these people? There was a video went viral, it was 1960s, and it had a lot of Jamaicans that were migrant workers uh, in Florida fields, uh, you know, sugarcane, beans, all this stuff. And they were living in basically squalor. They were like living in basically institutionalized slavery. They owed for housing and the daycare. Daycare was 85 cents a day. The housing was like a dollar a day and something else was a dollar a day. So before they woke up, they owed $2.85. That's if their kids went to the daycare. Now, when you out there picking beans in the field, they made $2 a day. So what's that mean? They owed every day they woke up, they were in debt. So they were interviewing a kid who his mom didn't put him in the daycare. Because honestly, every day she was in, in debt anyway. So <clears throat> it, it's just like, well, the thing I want a lot of y'all to see is that many people are sitting here trying to convince you that something that happened to them when they were 12 is the reason they are the way they are now. And, and I, will, I will say this again, if something, uh, sexual assault, a crime was committed to you or uh, uh, someone punched you in your face or something traumatic, your house burnt down as a kid, whatever. I mean, I watch a lot of those shows where it's hoarders and 600 pound life. It's always some kind of event that has triggered them in that direction. So things can happen to people. Yes, people's lives can spiral out of control. But if you're watching this channel, that's probably not you, okay? You're probably not 600 pounds, okay? And you're probably not homeless. I don't know that for certain, but if you're watching this, I hope not. Now, somebody gets in my comments and say, well, Erica, you're acting pretty cocky. You don't understand. You don't know. And to me, that is the most disrespectful thing you can do. Same when people try to play off that I do YouTube videos, like it's nothing... I, I am not one of these YouTubers out here talking about baby mama drama and $350 child support. That's not my lane. Okay. My lane is someone who is doing business. I'm treating you to YouTube and Instagram and all these platforms as a business, as a tool to create wealth for me. Okay. Now, what do I mean by that? When you saw me, when I first got on YouTube, I was talking about real estate. I was talking about my job as an apartment manager. And how it's growing and changing and finding out new information, conferences, partnerships, the painting company partnership. All of a sudden, you know, years later, we're talking about years later, six, pro six houses in, in Detroit. We got land lots in North Carolina, South Carolina. We've got a property in North Carolina. Okay, this is consistent. This is consistent. It's the same thing I've been saying for years. I'm just adding more and more every year. Now, what I showed today on Instagram is somebody was mailing me letters, absentee owner letters. Hey, would you like to sell your house? <laughs> would you like to sell your house to me? And I laugh because most people, what are they going to do with that letter? They're going to take it and ball it up and throw it away. What am I going to do with that letter? What am I going to do with that letter, you guys? I'm going to call that person and say, are you a wholesaler in Charlotte, North Carolina? What kind of deals do you have? Let's work together. See the difference in that conversation, the difference in that energy? Again, trucks, the same thing with the trucks. This is all invested. 
I, when I was working as an apartment manager, I said, man, they're like, why are you working in real estate? Because I want to be an investor. Okay, but I was on the other side of the desk. In the past five years, I've done everything in my mental power, my physical power, everything within me to get closer to being an investor, a full-time, not 100% by myself if I had to, investor. And the problem is people are telling you they want something, but they will not give their all for it. Okay? And the number one and number two thing you can do is raise your income, and two, invest your money, and three, pay off any bad debt per se. And that's it. Like, all these other things are just vehicles. They're just tools to get you there. They're just vehicles to get you to where you're trying to go. That's all. They're just tools. They're just ways to make it work. You know, people are like, well, can I go from zero to 100,000 on, on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram? And here's what I usually, when people ask me that question, I usually start asking them questions like, how much do you make now? Well, then they'd be like, well, I make 35,000. Okay, so you telling me you the only way you're going to do a new thing is if it makes you $100,000? Man, if you don't shut your damn mouth. Because you would go take another job that pays you forty five dollars or 50000 just to get the increase. So don't try to act like this is some miracle. you got to have a miracle or you won't do it. That's a lie you tell yourself. You ain't convincing me, baby. Don't convince me. Convince yourself. Because I've heard that line too many times. Well, Erica, how much money do you really make? Maybe if I showed you my tax returns, I showed you the checks I'm writing to the IRS, you cry. You cry. I promise you. And people go, well, rich people don't want people to know they're rich. Baby, I don't care that you don't. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Here's the funny part. You go, oh, man, you know. <laughs> you know, you I, rich people don't tell people they're rich. Honey, what is Grant Cardone doing right now? Please answer that. What is Grant Cardone doing right now? People like, rich people don't tell nobody they're rich, Erica. You know what that tactic is? That's a shame tactic for middle class folks where they want you to shut up because they feel bad that you're doing better than them. See, people want you to do good, but just not better than them. Oh, no, Erica, please. I want you to do well. I want you to prosper, but not better than me. No, that's crazy. Right? Or then they try to tell you, well, you, well, you ain't got no husband, see? <laughs> but you and your husband don't make no money. So, again... Choose where you choose your position in life and choose it wisely. I can always go get a husband. I don't think you can go get more money because clearly your situation is not improving. You dig? Now that was for a particular person. That's not anybody that I've worked with. That's just for a particular YouTuber who tried to get smart with me the other day. I just had to let her know. Okay? Because she got a husband, but she, she ain't make no money. All right? So let's keep it a buck. Now, <clears throat> I have to have to say this. Again, I read books, yes, but I took action. Every time I read a book, I immediately took action. If that book wasn't helping me take action, then I was like, why am I reading this? Another prime example, Vid Summit, VidCon, going to VidCon this year. <clears throat> I'm going to Grant Cardone 10X. Now, many people say, well, Erica, you going to 10X? You know, what you going to that for? You already got a business making all this money. Why are you doing that? It's the people in the room, baby. If I can ever get y'all to wrap your head around, it's the people in the room that I want, baby. It ain't the conference. It's the people and the money in the room. Duh. Duh, Becky. Duh. Okay? Now, I might go to that conference, meet with four people, all of a sudden come out of that bad boy with some multifamilies or some other real estate opportunities or some other podcasts or some other interviews or another book. You dig? You dig? Y'all see y'all missing y'all missing the whole forest for the trees. And people love getting your DMs. And listen, somebody messaged me on Instagram today that I know you see my messages. Why aren't you responding to me? Boy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. If I don't chop you in your neck, you better go sit down. Yeah, I see your messages. I see hundreds of messages a day. If I choose to respond to them, again, that's my choice. You're using my time. You dig? Now, again, Vid Summit is $750 early bird. VidCon for YouTubers, I think, is $150. For industry people, it's $550. Uh, and that's, that means, like, if you have, like, a, a company or something, you're trying to sell stuff. Oh, no, it might rain, y'all. Um... But again, you say, well, I don't know, Erica. You're going to spend 
you know, $200 or $400 total because I bought some other tickets for 10X? Oh, man. And then you're going to stay in a nice hotel that's going to cost money and then you're going to pay for the airport and all this. Stuff. I mean, you're just basically giving Greg Cardone your money, Erica. No. If you leave this conference and you don't make 10X your money this year, baby, you're doing it wrong. And to some degree, there are a lot of people out there crying scam and it ain't no scam. Now, for the people that called me the other night and I did that video, they asked scam like 15 grand. That ain't even a joke, bro. That ain't even funny. They got for real, real scammed. Hold on. I'm going through the, through the thing to go up to WeWork. Come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. These people don't know how to drive or park or nothing. Goodness. I mean, it's a, it's, see, this is what I, I love and hate about Texas. Everybody wants to buy a truck, but nobody knows how to drive it. So they're out there doing a 14-turn, uh, three-park turn reverse. You're like, what are you doing? Just back all the way up, turn your wheel, and back out. Jeez Louise. Hold on a second. We almost at the top. Rising to the top, baby. If you guys like the content so far, please put a one in the comments and hit the like button. I, you know, I just need to gauge the temperature in the room, baby. Do y'all like the conversation? Because, you know, I could be ratchet, but I'm going to be well behaved today. Honey, pay attention. I'm going behind you. All right. Parking deck. Parking deck people. Parking, and I'm going to read your comments as soon as I stop driving. Many of my friends have told me to stop reading those comments while I'll drive. Even though I'll be at stoplights, they'd be like, Erica, we see you. All right, Skynet tried to kick me off. Am I back? Put a one in the comments if I'm back. Skynet tried to kick me off. Let me know if you guys can see me. Skynet tried to take me out. Let me know if you can hear me or see me. The parking deck. Try to take me out here. All right. So now the point of what I'm saying is <clears throat> the Cardone conference, meeting people, doing lunch with people, exchanging phone numbers and going and pushing. Right. Because you need momentum. And here's the problem. A lot of people. Gary Vee has this thing about if you're 60 years old, you still got time. We can hear you. The video is choppy. Is it choppy right now? Is the video choppy right now? I might get rid of it. Is it choppy right now? Let me know. Put a two in the comments if it's choppy right now. Um, so, let me know. Is the video choppy right now? Or do I need to kill the video? Uh, if not, I'll just record this at my computer. Put it up here. Anyway, so, Gary Vee has this video about not giving up when you're 55 or 60. And here's the thing. When you're 55, I'm not there. I don't know your body. I don't know your energy level. I will just say my mother um, is one of those people, former military, works out every day of her life, had neck surgery, had a brain aneurysm, takes very good care of herself. But I can see other people's parents who are 55 and 60 and look like they're about to fall over and die. I will not lie to you. No point me lying to you. I, I've seen some people who are truly, 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 I'm concerned for them. I think they might have a heart attack. Um, I've seen it, but again, can you still change your life over the course of the next 10 years? Yeah. Can you leave your family better than you started over the next 10 years? Yes. You don't have to give up. You just have to change your goal because your goal is going to have to include walking every day, vitamins, out, vitamin, vitamin, vitamins. You ever seen the movie, the documentary, uh, fat, sick or dead. It's where the guy just started juicing every day and lost like a hundred pounds. There's a lot of Americans out there who, um, and let's, let's clarify. There's some Americans who don't care. They chubby, they fat, they in the South, they don't care. They with their wife, they don't care. But the Americans who do care, the Americans who do want to do better, the folks who do want to 10X their life, that's just one of the ways. You're going to have to start changing exercise and diet. They're just, they're just monumentous, right? There's a reason I pay my personal trainer, not just to talk me through exercises, because people be like, oh, you could just learn what he does and do it yourself. No, because if you could, you would already have those results. You don't have those results. You would have the results. But a lot of you are so resistant against coaching and mentoring because I already know what to do. Well, if you already know what to do, why doesn't your life look like you know what to do? Why doesn't your life have the results that you think they should have? If you already know how to do it, why doesn't your life look like that? That's something you have to ask yourself. That's something I ask myself. Okay, why doesn't it look like that? 
Why am I not going here? If you start asking the hard questions, then you'll get to truth. And that's the problem. Nobody wants to really ask hard questions. I know a guy right now. He's a nice guy at our church. He bought a truck because he was saying he was too fat to fit in a car. Honey, that's the car. It was not the problem. Do you dig what I'm saying? The car is not the problem. The, the belly is the problem. And, and he's like, yeah, I'm going to work on it. Are you, though? These are these questions you have to ask yourself. So, again, why am I so cocky? Why do I know that zero to at least 50000 a year in YouTube and Instagram? Because I've seen it. I've done it. Right? I've seen it. I've done it. And I know people who keep doing it. I keep telling y'all about Alex Becker because whenever I tell y'all, y'all don't believe me and you don't do it. So, let me tell you about somebody who does it and then let me see if it changes your life. Alex Becker tells you all the time free techniques to get your numbers up, get your sales up. All the time. All the time. So you can try, you can do what he what he tells you. Maybe you listen to him. And and I know what it is. I know what it is. Listen, let's have a sh let's talk. I know what it is. Sometimes I'm on Instagram and people go, is it a scam? Even though they already know somebody that look opposite of me selling the same exact stuff. Do you ask them if it's a scam? Do you call that blonde white girl and ask her if she's scamming? I mean, I mean, I, it's something to do with it. I ain't going to lie to you now. Some of y'all know that's the truth. Not everybody. 90% of my clients are white and Hispanic. So, hey, I appreciate every dollar I get. Every single penny I get, I appreciate it. And for all my clients of all colors, I appreciate every dollar you contribute to this channel. It makes it wonderful. But again, I didn't start the credit repair on, on zero. You know, I didn't start the credit repair saying, if it don't make me 100000 I ain't going to do it, Erica. Well, then don't do it. But don't be in my DMs harassing me because what you want to do is completely make two hundred fifty thousand when you ain't never made more than forty thousand in your whole life. Come on now, I don't make I don't do miracles. I can help you, but I don't do miracles. So again, how did I start investing in Detroit? How did I start investing in trucks? How did I start investing on YouTube like this? They all required time, energy, money, time, energy, money. There's no equation in the world that's going to skip you out of time, energy, and money. And if you ain't got the money, boy, people are going to want you to spend every waking day and time on that project to prove your worth to the project. So, again, it may be easier for a lot of you just to start a job. It really may be. Just get a better job. Because what it takes is courage. And the Fry Festival showed you if that kid had two pe peanuts of a brain that made him think, you know, what if I move this? To Jamaica or what if I just moved this to somewhere else or what if I just moved it to Florida and still kept it going you could have kept it going it's all about choice but yeah if you if you don't watch nothing else on TV watch American Greed it's a literally an edu NBA education in a show just don't do what they did like do all the steps where the marketing the advertising the doors the growing the business just not the scammy part because a lot of them had, had amazing businesses and systems in place, but they were scammers at heart. At heart. At the base level, they were scammy. Now, here's another thing about that. People say, well, Erica, all these people got credit repair. I can do it myself. I can do it. And you can. Trust me. I even sell how to do a credit repair business on my channel. But here's my point to you. If your credit was already there, you know what I'm saying? If it was already there, baby. You wouldn't be even here. You wouldn't be here. Listen, let's keep it a buck. A lot of people want to start a business because they can't get credit cards. Because they can't get any credit from the bank. They can't get any loans. So they're trying to start a business to make more money to do what? To go live the life they want. To pay off the debt. This just is what it is. The Fry Festival. A lot of those guys paid money because why? They want to go hang out with hot models at the beach. Well, if they see a hot model in the bar, would they ever walk up to her? No. No. They won't. But they want it because they saw it on the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that kind of thing. So, it's a vicious circle. Yes, Michael. People do things to make more money and then they're not prepared. They just aren't. Even on the profit, most of the issues the business owner have are personal that hold the business back. Exactly. Exactly. Again, that's why when I come here on YouTube... There are several men that if they just drop some of the silly stuff, they can make hundreds of thousands of dollars. But they don't because it's, because because they were 18 and somebody did them wrong. Now they're going to spend their whole life being angry 
and like ah like they're gonna do that it doesn't matter nicole it doesn't matter honestly i'm not gonna lie to you all that does is pull some of the young drivers older drivers are gonna know they still can make more by themselves right okay so here's the thing <laughs> i'm being careful you gotta determine you gotta determine if you want to do this for real Whatever it is, whether it's real estate, whether it's starting some kind of online business, whether it's doing something via Instagram, you got to determine if you want to do it for real. I'm at the WeWork right now. So many people are bailing out. It's 518. 50% of the people bailed out at 450. I bet you money. You got to determine that. Whatever you guys put in the conversation, all you need, let me tell you something. 80% of what you need, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to bullshit you. There's no need. You need more money. There's two schools of thought. You are either preserving wealth or you are creating wealth. That's it. So a lot of you, what about this? What about a laundromat? What about this? What about, it doesn't matter what the business is. I, again, I, that's why y'all keep missing it. It doesn't matter the business. I've got three different years because guess what I did? Follow systems. It's all about having the money. You got to have the money. So if you're at a job, and it's paying you 60, 70, 80,000 a year, you're making most than 75 million Americans. You're making more than half of America, half of working America. Let's make sure that's clear. And so at that point, you need to do the research. How much money will it take me to get what I want? You gotta figure it out. How much money will it take you to get that laundromat? How much money will it take you to get a truck? How much money? All these things are dependent on you. And I many of you say, well, Eric, I got good credit. Oh, great. Now you can get financing to get what you want. Okay, what's the interest rates? You know, you got to, you got to, come on. Come on. Do, do, the, do the math. Come on. Come on. Do the math. Like, all this is do the math and do the research. And I know people don't like hearing that from me, but that's the answer. There's no shortcut. All this stuff I'm doing right now, all this stuff I'm doing right now, is so I could, if I wanted to, parachute away tomorrow. Like, Peace out. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you build the system right in the beginning, you can hire people. Look at the Fry Festival. This kid, literally, and he's not a kid. Let me make that very clear. He's a grown A man. I'm going to be careful. I don't want to. He's a grown man, and he was only 25, and somebody had been working underneath him for five years. This gay man who was in his 50s. And he was like, I've, I've known him for five years. He's so great. And the thing of it is, it's the energy. It's the momentum. And the fact is, if that kid, he could have went anywhere. That kid could have been Gary V right now. That kid could have been owning places right now. People are always looking for people to give their money to, people to invest with, people to work with. But because he didn't, he wanted that little bit of scammer inside of him. You know, I almost think the guy's a psychopath from what the way they described him. It's like that little bit was enough to turn it. That little bit. Exactly. Once you build the momentum... Listen, you ever see that thing, you build it, they will come. You build it, they will come. It's true. And you got to look at your life. What are you building? Who would want to come to it? Right? That's the truer question. You know, I mean, people people don't want to do real examination. And, and all these different businesses you see a lot online, it's just different levels. Like last night I was talking in the scam video and somebody said, oh, Erica, you know, um, I was talking about consulting. I was saying, you see, this ain't my only money. <laughs> like, if you watch me or you know me or you meet me in person, you know this ain't my only money. Let's just keep it a buck. You just know it ain't. But it's an important tool to do what? Bring in leads, bring in funnel, funnel money. It's all important. But at the end of the day, again, you got to put in some work. Nobody wants to put in any work. If you build it in a system that makes pay, makes sense, you can get it done. A lot of you send me questions and emails that I'm like, you could have Googled and saved me and you this headache of reading this. I, I mean, I thank you for all the emails. Honey, I get about 100 a day and I really respect y'all. But some of y'all are, are mad because I won't answer your emails. Then send me another email saying, well, Heifer, you could have read my email. Like, do you think that's going to get your email read? We, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and Again, I was on somebody's channel. And this guy in the comments lives with his parents. He was like, well, well, you're fat or something to that extent. And I go, but I don't live with my parents. 
And everybody's like, Erica, why are you picking on that guy? Because that's, we have to get back to what is true, what is effective. If you're not being effective in your everyday life, then we have to go there. We have to hit you where it hurts because if you won't hit yourself where it hurts to move your life forward, then, okay, like, all right, and your next question is what? I don't live with my parents, though. I got my own place, though. I got two offices, though. Next question. Next question. Got more rentals than you. Going on 10. What's up? Next question. Do you see what I'm saying? You got to really... Uh, these people be in their feelings. And the facts have to start coming to the crop. And you know what? I'm so glad. I, I, I Y'all know YouTube's starting to do a purge, right, next week. Y'all know it's coming next week? So whatever favorite spirity channel you like... You better get to looking at it now. Remember how they got Ron Paul out of here and Jordan Peterson out of here? A lot of people got pushed up out of here. The purge is coming. So all these people that had these businesses, these YouTube making funny, funny jokes and laughing and, and, and calling people names. Yeah, you about to be up out of here. And people who had real businesses are going to do what? Keep on going. You think Alex Jones has stopped? No. Alex Jones had email list on top of email list on top of email list. That dude has like his whole company has at least, I think, 120 different email lists for all the little different stuff they were selling. Silver and water and products and stuff. And so now you kick him off YouTube. So what? Guess what? He's just going to send out emails. They kicked me off of YouTube. They kicked me off of YouTube. Make sure you buy your silver. Make sure you buy your water. That's all that's going to happen. OK, that's all that's going to happen. You see what I did on this channel. Y'all already see I've started segueing people to what? The investment side. Hey, you want to invest with me in some trucks? You want to invest with me in some real estate? I'm only taking the serious people. Okay, you got to think about it. A lot of people are out here tripping. Tripping, but they not tripping in no smart way. Okay, let's keep it a buck. Levine family. I'm not knocking them. They're great people. I'm not knocking them. Let's make that clear. Y'all can go over there and tell them I knocked them. I didn't. The reason they get so much flack from so many people is he started a MGTOW channel years ago before he fell in love. And he was talking shit about women and, and talking all this crap and talking crazy. And guess what? He met a, a half Asian, half white girl and fell in love. He fell in love. And then he, he, he tried to hide the channel, tried to suppress it, tried to be quiet. He started doing this new thing on, on YouTube, a family channel. And you, Walmart's paying the money and Target's paying the money. But guess what people kept bringing up? Oh, oh, didn't you just say all this crazy stuff about women that you'd never marry a woman, you'd never live with a woman, but yet you married to a woman and living with a woman and having kids? See what I'm saying? Like people getting caught out there with the silly mess. Now, he's been... Smart enough to completely deep delete the channel, but every day they got hundreds of thousands of subscribers. But where did the original subscribers come from? His original channel. Exactly, T. Kelly. He fell in love and he said, MGTOW, what? Who? What? What? What are you talking about? All the silly stuff, all the presents, all the gags, all the pranks, all the stuff. People clown them all the time. It doesn't matter. They're making a ton of money. Enough money to have uh, very expensive cars and very expensive houses. So you gotta you gotta figure out. If you're going to come on here and be for real, you're going to you got to figure out if you're going to go on social media and be for real. There is a lot of opportunity out here for y'all to make money, but y'all got to you got to make some decisions. Do you want to play? This guy cannot park, y'all. This is so nervous. Makes me nervous. You want to play or you want to be serious? That's that's all I'm saying. And I wanted to be an investor and I made sure every step of the way that's what I was doing to be an investor. Every step of the way. Now, let me read some of y'all stuff because I just can't even get on out of here. We got Los Angeles, California in the building. We got Georgia in the building. Yeah, that documentary was crazy. And see, that's and that shows you it was happening so fast that there are people, depending on the face or the image they put on social media, can raise millions of dollars in a couple of days. And people know that. A couple of, two, 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 for sure. There are, let me, let me even make it next step further. There are several girls I'm looking at who have YouTube channels and they're like, oh, I'm a businesswoman and I do all this stuff. And so when I start talking to them, interviewing them, they only make like 40,000 a year. I go, girl, what kind of business is that? And I'm not going to just saying, and the, the reason is they're married. They got married right out of college or they got married at 25 and that he has this really high paying job and she's at home taking all these nice pictures for the Instagram. It's real easy to make 40 grand when you don't have to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's real easy to make 40 grand when you don't have to do nothing.
it's real easy. And that's why you see the, the rise of the mommy blogs, the rise of these, I got a motivational workbook for you guys. Here's a motivational thing. And here's my, here's my thing that we all need motivation. I get it every day too. I get a lot of motivational stuff. But in the same time, I have to actually put some work in. And a lot of these people have hobby businesses. A lot of these women you see online have hobby businesses where they make 40 or 70,000 a year. When you start saying, Erica, how much you make? And I tell them, oh, damn, baby, it's just me. I got to survive out here. I cannot starve. OK, and then on top of that, I've got to invest that money so that it will last me for years, because if y'all don't like me tomorrow, I'm still going to be all right. I'm still going to live and I'm going to have a good life. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to keep on surviving. And, and that's the difference. Some of these people on YouTube play and vent all night. I don't have time to do a seven hour hangout. I ain't got time. If y'all see me do a seven hour hangout, I want one of y'all to come knock at the office and slap me and get me back to where I need to be. All right. <clears throat> What's up, Diane? Stone Mountain. How close is Stone Mountain to Atlanta? Health is well. Man, listen, my artist was an artist on the Fry platform. We almost went to that disaster. Whoa, Shauna, please, no. Cooking but die when I heard perky titties and pull back face. Listen, Rock and Roll Dina, I'm for real. Some people, <laughs> I love Aaron Claire. I think his channel's hilarious, but he'll get all these people writing him and they'll be like women in their late 30s or 35 to 38 or 32 to th 40 years old oh my god my life is over i didn't get married and he usually says lose some weight get some perky titties and get out there and I'm telling you i'm in austin and i know plenty of people in austin even though austin doesn't seem as big as y'all think it is out here walking around with perky titties and a nasty attitude and her life didn't change her titties are just up that's all and there's a lot of mo there's a lot of women here because it's a startup culture there's some expensive ceos here who if you can tell they're divorced moms they're like divorced but they got the money they got some alimony. They walk around with perky titties at 60 years old and a tight face. You're like, honey, stop. Let that go. It's 30, 138 people here and 65 likes. Y'all just don't even like me. I don't know why the likes are free. I don't even ask y'all for no money. I'd be like, get the likes. <laughs> uh, Colorado Springs. What's up, Colorado Springs? How much snow is there right now? Tell him, thank you. What is Grant Cardone doing? Telling the world he's rich. But that is a middle class thing where they say, or, or even lower class, don't be telling people about all your money. Keep a low profile. People could rob you. People could hurt you. My mom even said that one time. Erica, people could rob you. How, ma? How, Sway? Where are they coming from to rob me? I want to know so I can be ready. Like, this is crazy. But again, what is Grant Cardone doing? He's telling everybody. I got a plane. He even says it. You can fake a Lambo, but you can't fake a plane. And he's right. You can't. What's up, Chris Love? Enjoy 10X. Love your positive move forward attitude. Uncle, Uncle Laundrius, listen to me. All I can tell y'all is the last 10 years are so vital. So many people say, well, Eric, I didn't get the right start in life. I didn't get this. I didn't get that. I didn't get this. A lot of these overnight stories y'all hear are not overnight stories. I didn't get here on YouTube like this. There, You guys can go back, look back four years and see me making videos at different friends' apartments because I like the lighting in the window. OK, like there's so it doesn't happen overnight. You have to keep increasing your value. If you walk up and you, you only making like 15, 20 dollars an hour. I'm not talking about value as in degrees. I'm talking about values that you can go get money. And I'll just tell you this, if you're making anything under 16 dollars an hour right now, you need to go out and look on Indeed.com. You need to go fix your LinkedIn. You need to find out a way you can make more money. It just is what it is. Now, some people say, Eric, I'm a teacher. I love what I do. I'm a this. I'm a technician. All right. You love what you do. What you do. But figure out a way to get extra money on the side or something. Erica Networks, people. Doing VidCon this year. Okay. I hope to see you there, Ben the Bartender. Oh, I have all kind of screenshots, Ben the Bartender. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, o City, uh, uh, not nah, O'Shea does the Thursday. And he asked all the women that have Instagrams, if you do, we have guys that get in your in inbox and like, doo -doo 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 -doo, and you're like, no, thank you. And they still be like, doo -doo -doo -doo. and so I screenshot and give them to him because he thinks they're funny. I, don't, I try to be respectful. There's been a lot of love stories happening out of people's DMs. So I ain't going to knock it. I'm just saying, be careful how you get up in there. 
how rich people think is a great start. In order to attain higher capacity, got to change your relationship money and how you view it. Facts. Dark Man Jeff, had to put my pride aside and get therapy and coaching this year. It's paying dividends already. Congratulations, Dark Man Jeff. Listen, there is nothing wrong with therapy. I think the African-American community probably used some more therapy. People be like, just pray about it, girl. Just pray about it. Listen, some things you need to go get worked out. Some of y'all have had traumatic things happen to you, and I'm not discounting them. But if you can't move forward in life, and I, I had this one lady say, if you meet a person who can't have a relationship more than three months, there's something wrong. Like, you can't put up with a person for more than three months. And she's talking about a dating uh, boyfriend-girlfriend situation. And at first I laughed about it, but then I was like, oh, wait, she's right. I actually know people who cannot date a person longer than three months. And you would say, oh, Erica, maybe it's the women the person's choosing. Maybe it's the man she's choosing. No, listen to me. They just, they need some help and they cannot, like, either they scare the person away, the person gets tired of them, or they just got to get away from them. They can't keep people around them longer than three months. You need counseling. Mm, rather pray for a miracle. Dang. Ray L, starting your own business teaches you a lot about yourself. It's really a spiritual journey. It's not just about the money. Honey. Yes, Lord. Preach. Listen to me. Let me read that again because I want to I just want to go there. Starting your own business teaches you a lot about yourself. It's a real spiritual journey. It's not just about the money. It's not. When you when you realize you can sustain yourself, like right now, people are like, oh, are you ever worried about getting another job? I'd start again and start again and start again and start again, right? I've been to the bottom. I'm not scared, right? And also for those who've been to the bottom, now you should know, okay, we're going to have 10, 20, 30, 45 layers of some protection. And oh, you should have so many layers between you and homelessness. It don't make no sense. Like I even make a joke. I have a friend and he, he's had a startup business. His wife divorced him. I know this sounds crazy. His wife divorced him. And you know what he did? He bought an RV camper. Now at the time he was living in an apartment. But this was before they knew what, how much his alimony was going to be. So he was like, Erica, I'm not afraid. If she come back for the money, I'm going to get a piece of land or I'm going to go to an RV park with that RV and I'm going to start all over and just be fine. And at first people were like laughing like, oh, man, you don't need that, man. You don't need that RV park. But then I realized what he was saying was legit. Like there is no bottom if you, if you got a plan. There's no bottom. You got to have layers and layers of protection. And lucky for him, she's such a, a well level headed woman. Like in the end, she was just like, pay the house off, yo. We can be straight. And that's what he did. So, you know, not everybody's crazy. Not everybody's going to take you to the cleaners when they divorce you. Just sometimes people don't work well together. So, especially if you're a person. Listen, if you start with your spouse and you're a nine to fiver and then you want to switch over to running businesses, your spouse may not be on board for that. They may go hell to the hell no. So that's why you have to start stuff on the side and build it up. Because a lot of people say, well, I just want to quit my job and start something new. No, 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 no. Stay at your job. Build the thing up on the side. And then people can say, oh, man, you're making so much money. Why are you still at your job? Like, make it so that it don't make no sense. Um, Brian buys houses in Houston. His job pays him 100000 plus. He's some kind of mechanical engineer. But his wholesaling has also paid him 100000 plus. And to this day, people are like, why you ain't quit your job? He's already made 100 some thousand off wholesaling using his nights and weekends. See what I'm saying? Should that tell you something? That means you're not spending your five to bedtime hours well you're not spending your weekend hours well or your bedtime well it's all about time management <clears throat> listen been to bar center exactly if mark if walmart's paying you 90k what do you think you can make on your own think about it if walmart is paying you 90,000, what could you really make on your own all my armor is doing is moving, moving the meter. Do the math, though. Go, go, go on Asian My Show. All these people shows they tell you they're making 180, 200,000, 250,000. Right now, if you go on Indeed.com for truckers, 200,000, 300,000. Trust me. He's definitely a psychopathic narcissist. He's got to be. Darkman Jeff, how much cash do you say is enough to get ahead of most of Americans? Well, if, if 75 million Americans make on average 30,000 a year. And that's 75 million out of 150 million working Americans. Uh, I would say double that, triple that. I, I don't like putting limits on myself. Can I be honest? I don't like, 
I don't like limits as far as like, well, how much can I make or how less? Like, I want to make as much as earthly possible because this is what happens when you say, well, I'm going to make 250 this year. You when you get close to 200,000, you'll start slowing down. So it's better to say, Erica, I'm going to make 300,000 or half a million this year. And then you'll you'll increase your activity. How much activity do I need to do to get that? How many sales calls? How many phone calls do I have to make? Like I'm losing my voice right now and I did 20 phone calls today. It was all related to the damn truck. But again, you have to make the phone calls. You have to get the stuff done. I'm going to 10X uh, and the first day is like sales. Second day is marketing and third day is 10X your life and, and your uh, money. I'm going to have no voice by day three. I already know because they're going to be like yelling and yeah and I already know. Everyone wants a quick flick, fix. Yeah, they really do. They want a Band-Aid to an uh, open wound where they done shot, got shot in the chest. And they're like, I just want a Band-Aid. Honey, you need more than a Band-Aid. The facts hurt feelings. They do. The purge. Mm. Man, Rail, listen, there was a, there was a, there was a post and I, I, y'all almost threw up in my mouth. I was just, there was some woman and she was dressing the child inappropriate. My first thought is call the police, call somebody. This child's being dressed about. And the first thing the man says, I'm paying you 375. Is that how you, you, you got our child here looking? What do you do with my money? And I almost, I almost threw up y'all seriously. His thoughts about 375, my first thought is, honey, your child is being dressed like she's about to sell it on Craigslist. And this is a three-year-old baby. You need to call emergency, call the police. And you're talking about 350, 375? That's disgusting. That's pathetic. They're, they're, you didn't even need to bring up you pay her a month. But that's how low people are. They're like, oh, I pay you 500. These kids should be looking better than this. The average apartment in America is 1000 to $1,500. So when people sit here tell me, I paid her $200 a month child support. Bro, you should be ashamed to even say that out loud. Like, I'm not trying to shame you. I'm trying to say that if this woman is unfit and terrible, you need to be immediately contacting lawyers, contacting people. And, I, and I, I know this is true because I know lawyers. And they will tell you the number one thing that happens is no one wants to call the police. No guy wants to get the woman arrested. I know a friend right now. Woman ran off with a kid for five years. Why? Because the, the police, when they came to the South, they said, you need to call us. If she doesn't show up with him, call us. She's breaking the rules of your custody. We need to go get a warrant for her arrest and arrest her. This woman is, is either mentally having a problem or something's wrong with her. And he goes, well, I just don't want to put her in jail, Erica. You know, he's only five. I'd have to start driving him to school and all this other stuff. This woman ran off with this man's child, y'all. He didn't see the boy for five years. And when he got him at 10, trust me, he had problems. He had mental health problems because of that woman being so crazy. And the fact is he had bruises and breaking broken bones. And to me, for someone to say that some woman's doing something crazy to your kid and you're not calling the police, and you're not documenting every freaking step of the way. You don't want to you don't want that kid full time. You just want to send a check. And feel good that you sent a check and that they're babysitting the baby full time. No, that's that's not being all you can be. And I'll leave that there. But I keep hearing these stories. And then when I ask how many steps, how many like you, you got to you got to pay attention. I've literally heard a judge say, well, he got to me and there's only two pieces in his file. There's only two document times that you said this happened two times. And then there's other people where it's 20 pieces of paper. Yo. This lady's been called on multiple times. This lady's been, re been referred to CPS multiple times. There's been a track record of this. But again, people only want to coast by in life. They want to do the easy things. And I just know it's true. So. Where do I go if I want to invest with you in trucks? Seeing the truth, I put a thing out in my community page of a link. You fill it out. It's Google Doc information. Man, thank you, Rhonda, for the $20 super chat. Folks are so inconsiderate. Why do folks work to be in a position like that you are? And they wouldn't be upset if your emails. Exactly. And these are, these people are doing the most. Thank you so much, Rhonda, for the $20 super chat. Even the woman realized they don't want an empty stomach. 
that shutdown shook a lot of women. You don't hear women talking like, I don't need a man. They don't. Rayel, this is my point. The gender war has been over. And nobody wants to agree with me. They're like, oh. Too. And he's putting out, it's like how to basically marry somebody, whether she's a single mom or not. If she's a single mom, kid needs to be under seven. Kid needs to be over seven. Uh, if not, um, uh, she need, you need to have all the bills in your name. Da, da, da. Now, a couple years ago, y'all would have called that man a simp if we're saying that. But that's the thing. The, that gender war is over. There's a lot of women like, okay, that's agreeable. That's reasonable. That's okay. If somebody's not, she's crazy. Because the math is the math is there. Anybody over, and let's be very careful, anybody over 28. Because I'm meeting some 23-year-olds that are still really stupid. I'm meeting some 23-year-old girls where I'm talking to them. And I'm like, honey, are you playing with me? Are you, are you pulling my leg? So let me clarify. Anybody over 28 that's talking crazy to you, you need to run. I don't care how nice her body is. I don't care what you say about that. I don't care. You see all these people, other white people and Asian people and other people married, they ain't, they ain't like, she better have the hottest body ever. No, she better have some damn brains in her head. Man, says, if we want to make social media money, what route should we go? L Graves, I'm a, I put some stuff up already on my um, channels you can buy. I'll, I'm gonna put a six-figure YouTube course together, and that's it. I'm I'm done making courses. Like I like emailing me, messaging me, for life. That shit breaks my heart and makes me sad, makes me happy all at the same time. But I'm kind of moving over towards investments, you know. So I already know kind of a little bit on this. Wow, been the bartender to talk to who? A homegirl today, she's about to let her mom and sisters go because she said they're keeping her from finding a husband trying to take care of them. Ooh. Wow. That's, that's scary. Wow, Con Connor, I think, you know, is doing more damage than good with these panels. Yeah, because people are isolated. Aaron Clary speaks to Chasso because to this day, Aaron Clary cracks me up. I have his book, The... Um, the Curse of the High IQ. I have his other two books. I bought them for other people. Poor Richard's Retirement. I spoke. If you ever watch this video, I'm just telling you. The truth is, I've met those people. They've lost weight. They got makeup on, perky titties, nice dresses, and they have the same stanky attitudes. So, you know, got to change the inside, too. First time you knew you were onto something big and you were going to be successful. Um, I think I made like $1,000 in a day. And, um... I was supposed to go to work and I was like, girl, I just made a thousand dollars. I ain't coming in. <laughs> no, no. And, it, and then later it was like, I made $3,000 one time in a day. And I was like, oh, hell no. I'm not going to work. No, nah, I ain't going to work. I'm good. I think it's just the thing of it is, it's like, it's productive. It's the momentum was building on this YouTube channel. And what was funny is I was meeting people who had credit card debt. Because what they had did, he left his lights on, y'all. Anyway, they had credit card debt. And it was because they were spending thousands of dollars trying to market their YouTube channel. And I go, if you spent that thousands of dollars in actually the value you create in products and services, you'd have the money. So. Uh-oh. I think it's uh, about to cut me off again. They have. ADD. Oh, okay. Financial safety nets. Just in case you fall off. I need. <laughs> I got laid off, but luckily I have my mom backing me up. But I have managed my money in a manner that I kept my credit score 700. All right, Melita. Okay, congratulations. Just while you're waiting on the next job, Uber, Lyft. I'm talking about hours and hours a day. Get that stuff flowing. Get it pumping. I hope you guys are being ruthless with your time today. Exactly, Ray Gun. 34. It's I'm going on an hour. I'm about to leave out of here. I've been to the bottom. I ain't scared. Her. I'm telling you, when he some people really be for real, for real. I'm feeling that interest. She stunner shades. Exactly. Age mean nothing. Health and mind is hilarious. Sassy Moxon, I cannot. I'm not gonna repeat that out loud. Yeah, born elite. It is. BGS said it too. The gender war is over. These people are being very, um, very agreeable. We'll see. Apple Mac. Here's the funny thing about that. God, I'm gonna be careful. Apple Mac said nobody, no dude wants a woman that only wants him for his pocket. 
to some degree, some of these men don't care. Are you nice to me? Are you respectful? Are you feminine? Are you treating my family with respect? Are you treating me with respect? You know, <sighs> there are some people I've seen married to some women that I'm like, that girl look like a stripper. He don't care. She's nice to him. And as much as y'all think that's corny and silly, that's a for real thing. Anyone I can do with no income or over 100000 in credit cards. John Wayne, you just need to start paying it down. You can pay off. I'm going to be careful. There's a couple people. I'm going to bring on Tasha on the show. She paid off 85000 in student loan debt. But the fact is, some of y'all have to just actually write this stuff down. I'm going to pay off 100000 in 10 years. Or I'm going to pay off 100000 in 5 years. You know what I'm saying? You just have to take it block by block. And what does that mean? Right. So prime example, when I was talking about people having student loan debt, 20,000 student loan debt, and they had 10 years to pay it off. That's only 150 bucks a month. That's thirty seven dollars. week. So let's times five. So that means that's five hundred dollars a month for the next 10 years. You can pay your stuff off. So that's the thing, John Wayne, you have to figure it out. Oh, no, the white man got me. Yeah, it's all good. I'm going to get out of here. I know people like your kids are cute. No, they better be smart. No audio or video right now. Boy, this stream in Houston mixed tape. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is it still buffering? I guess I was gone, y'all. Dang. Okay, all right. Well, I'm.